Hello beautiful Aquarius and welcome to your weekly reading. I hope you're all doing really well. This reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign Aquarius. If your Sun sign does not resonate this week, you might like to check out your Moon sign or your Rising sign as these readings often contain messages which are important to you. Uh, this week as well as your sun sign. So be sure to check those out. And also your Venus sign is really important for love and romance. So let's call in your angels and guides, spirit and source energy, and we'll see what messages they would like to bring through for you this week. Messages for Aquarius, please, spirit. Messages and guidance for Aquarius. Messages, guidance for Aquarius, please, spirit. This is a general reading, so please take what resonates for you personally and just leave the rest. There are going to be many different messages that come through with this reading, so just take what resonates for your situation. And be sure to filter the messages through your own intuition, as this is how spirit connects with you and sends through messages. You might see an image on one of the cards, which is really significant to you, or maybe a message rings true for you in some way. We have two cards that want to come out there for you, Aquarius, so we'll take those two cards. If you enjoy this reading, give it a thumbs up, click that like button, press subscribe if you would like to, and the notification bell. I really do love and appreciate you all so very much for all your support on my channel. Your energy, Aquarius, and the energy around you for the week. Guidance and messages for... Aquarius, please, Spirit. Guidance and messages for Aquarius. This card here. Beautiful. You have the power of intuition. I mean, you always have it, but you're going to be connected into it more than usual. So if you are usually very intuitive and insightful on that level, this week, Aquarius, it's going to be very profound. The intuition is going to be very clear this week. I feel that there is an energy of psychic or an energy of looking into your psychic or intuitive abilities more. This may be through a course or um, study of some kind. It may be through your own experimentation or you may be contacted by spirit in some way but I feel that there is a development of your skills maybe even mediumship I'm getting the message for some of you there is a heightened energy here this week or from when you view this reading for this um, psychic ability intuition to come into full force in your life and to come out into full bloom so this is a really very powerful energy. I also feel Aquarius that something is going to be revealed. I feel to do with a partnership or relationship that's important to you. There's an energy of, of uh, revelation. Something's going to be revealed to you through your intuition. Listen to this. Do not dismiss it when you feel this instinct, this gut instinct or this intuitive feeling or maybe a, a thought comes into your mind um, that really resonates with this relationship. Do not dismiss it. Your intuition is on point. Pay attention to your body, Aquarius. You may need to take some time out, rest mentally or perhaps emotionally, maybe rest physically, but pay attention to what your body is telling you. On this day, think about one thing that your body requires that it didn't need yesterday. Listen, observe, and pay attention to the physical, emotional, mental, and psychological stresses in your body and respond to one of them fully and consciously. And your goal this week is to pay attention to your body in every way. This is going to be incredible. Um, because what I'm seeing is these two messages are connected for you, Aquarius. And it's going to be very profound because you're going to feel out intuitively what's going on in your body or your emotional body or your mental body. And you're going to um, be able to have a major realization about something. 
So take care of yourself, Aquarius. Pay attention to your body and you're going to start to, um, I feel, move in the right direction, but maybe even with healing if you have been um, under the weather, weather or if you've been um, uh, ill in any kind of way or in any kind of pain. Let's take a look at this card here. The law of attraction is working in your life, Aquarius. Each thought is an investment that pays immediate dividends, so invest wisely. You have the power to choose your thoughts and align them with love, peace, and harmony. At your request, we will gladly attune your energies to higher frequencies. You are going to that higher frequency because you're tapping into this intuition. This is on heightened um, alert, your intuition this week. So you are going to be moving into those higher frequencies. But I'm also seeing an interesting message here, Aquarius, and that you'll be able to view and see what your future looks like through this law of attraction. What, where are your thoughts? What are you intending with your thoughts and where are your actions taking you? So a reflection on this is going to give you a good indication of what your future looks like. And it's linked in with the law of attraction. So there is a very powerful energy of being able to manifest what it is that you desire this week or from when you view this reading. Okay, so that's a beautiful message to come through. And I feel that spirit is working with you to bring through this abundance or bring through what it is that you're going to be attracting with the law of attraction. So focus on that this week. Have an intention to um, or set an intention to work with this law of attraction and you'll be able to start to see some manifestations come through in your life. And because of that, what your future, you, you'll be able to get a better vision of what your future is going to be looking like. You'll be opening to love this week. My heart is open. So this is really great. I feel that you're coming closer to, in contact or connection with someone who's been afar. Um, so they may be coming home, they may be, or you may be traveling to them, but there's contact here. It may be a phone call or a text message as well, but I feel there's a wonderful, maybe burning passion here for this person. So this could be love related for some of you, or that you just have this, um, a strong connection. It might be for a child, for example, this very powerful. So open to love. Do not close off your heart chakra. Also with this energy at I feel spirit is saying for some of you to work on your heart chakra. Try to keep it as open as possible. Now let's take a look at these two cards here. We have expression and we have evolution. Expression. You are ready to manifest your thoughts and transform them into acts of love. And evolution. You realize that obstacles are merely lessons on your path to love. Yes, and they are. They are Aquarius. You're leaving the blocks behind. You're leaving the the challenges and the obstacles that you ha may have placed inadvertently in front of yourself because of subconscious things going on. Spirit is telling me that with this law of attraction energy, changing your thoughts and your actions, you will be opening up wonderful new possibilities for yourself. A very... Um, a very encouraging uh, vision of your future is what you're going to be seeing in your life. Your life is evolving and you're going to be able to express yourself more and more. Um, maybe creative expression, maybe more from the heart, that kind of expression. It's going to be different for everyone, but this is really an expansion. So I love that energy. We have the page of rods. This is a child or youth or someone younger than you. The page of rods indicates that there is a need to look beyond uh, where, what you're doing currently. Look beyond what you're doing currently because there is something else that needs to be, needs to be done or needs to be looked at. Mm. Let's take a look at this card. The Ten of Swords, something's ended. A communication may end harshly this week or may have recently ended harshly. There is an energy here of being able to move on though from this dilemma or drama and we have the knight of pentacles this is a great energy for stability so if you're after stability this week in any kind of way then you're going to achieve it this may also be an earth sign around you 
Temperance is Sagittarius's card, so you may have a Sagittarius around you in some way. And this indicates patience and also being very moderate and coming up with a win-win solution. Seeing things from other people's point of view this week. Staying in the balance and also looking forward and looking ahead to new possibilities. I'm also seeing that for you there. Beautiful. And we have the devil. So this is a Capricorn around some of you. The devil indicates restriction. It indicates um, it indicates addictions as well and codependencies and negative traits that you may be looking at overcoming. Um, so that's why I'm feeling this law of attraction is so important because perhaps the people that you're around, they're not healthy for you. Or there, there's just something here, a, a relationship or communication which is toxic. You're needing to look at that honestly and and rectify that you know it's not it's this is not something you cannot get out of okay and I feel this law of attraction here is saying yes with the right intention actions and thoughts you're going to be able to uh, move forward from this restriction whatever this is for you and as this card says an investment each thought is an investment that pays immediate dividends so it, it, you're going to immediately see some kind of change um, when your focus or awareness comes into alignment with your higher self, your higher purpose and spirit. So you might be reflecting on that, what's happening here with this devil card this week. So you've got some beautiful energy coming in here. We've got a lot of different messages coming through. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I'm sending you lots of love and abundant blessings and I will talk to you all again soon.